So those were just a few pre-shots of the bathtub spout issues that we're dealing with. You probably recognize those shots at your house. The water is just not diverting up to the shower head correctly. So let's go to the store, see if we can find the right parts to fix. And the main issue with our bathtub spout is the diverter. That is that little knob that you pull up and down to create a bath or create a shower. Ours is stuck. It's like it's in quicksand. Like it, it, it's basically totally ceased up. It won't move and it's created an issue where we, we can't really take a bath or take a shower. Like the water is divided between the shower and the bathtub and so there's no pressure for the shower and the bathtub takes forever to fill up. It's no good, and so this is why we are fixing our bath spout. All right, folks, let's dive into this. You can do this. I have zero plumbing experience. If I can replace a bathtub spout, you definitely can for $19.99. That's right, don't go out and hire a plumber. I've heard that some plumbers can charge up to $200 for this. Don't do that. You can do this on your own. Trust me. All right, follow these steps that I'm about to show you. Go. So you really just need one tool, just one tool. It's called an Allen wrench, an Allen wrench, and it's a 532nd size, the 532nd size. If you can find that at your house, great. If not, you can buy it for like, you know, 20 cents at any hardware store. An Allen wrench that is 532nd in size. So step number one, once you have your Allen wrench, go to the back of your bath spout, find the back, and move your finger around toward the back, and you might have to put your head down and look up, Basically, there's going to be an Allen uh, nut toward the back, and you're going to want to stick the Allen wrench into that nut and just start twisting lefty, loosey, righty, no, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, right? Is that how it goes? So loosen it up, go to the left until it's loose enough to basically start pulling that bath spout slowly off. Twist it gentle at first. Now you might need a tool. I did not need a tool like a, uh, uh, a vice grip to pull off that bath, bath spout. I could just twist it with my hand in a lefty loosey direction. So I should also mention that the bath spout that you purchase, brand new, you want to make sure it's a diverter kind of bath spout, meaning you can pull up that little knob which forces the water up the pipe into your shower head. So you want to make sure you buy the right bath spout. It's called a diverter. And once you pull off the old bath spout, Lay it down next to the new one, and you're probably going to see a very stark difference in the on the inside where the diverter is located. And ours was is so caked in old chemicals that basically it wouldn't it wouldn't even move. It was it was stuck solid in one position. That's why the shower, frankly, was not putting out any pressure, and we were basically taking like a bath shower mix for a couple weeks until I finally had the time today to fix it. So just make sure you have a diverter, pull it off, compare so you can see the difference and what you're working with moving forward with a new one. So once the old spout is off, you're going to find a copper pipe and that copper pipe is a half an, usually going to be a half an inch in diameter. And basically, I cleaned mine off just to make sure it's, it's nice and clean before I put the new one back on. And then you also, if you want, I did this just to make sure, you can buy some Teflon tape as well. And it's just this very thin tape that helps give an extra tight seal for the new spout when it slides back onto that copper pipe. So you can go around the pipe maybe two or three times with a Teflon tape, and that'll, once again, it's very, you know, that's very cheap. It's a $1.99, wrap it around a couple times, and that'll just make sure it's a nice snug fit when the new one slides back on. There's really only two more steps left, and basically open the package of the new spout, take it out, and it's gonna look nice and shiny compared to the old one. No chemicals built up on the inside. So you wanna get that Allen wrench back out and basically locate the Allen nut that is on the bottom of the new spout and just start loosening it, not all the way, maybe five turns, six turns, basically allowing uh, the plastic on the inside to open up so that you can then slide that new spout onto that copper pipe. Okay, this is the exciting part. It's this is, it's easy, right? You guys can do this. You got this. Basically, grab that new spout, and now that the Allen nut is loose, not too loose, but just enough, 
pick it up and start sliding it on that copper pipe. So if you can't turn it with your hand, which I was able to do with mine, but if yours is a little more snug, it probably is not going to be, but you might have to use vice grips or like a plumber's wrench. Just be careful, don't wanna scratch your brand new spout. Uh, so just turn it all the way until it's flush with the wall of your bathroom or your bathtub. All right, last step. You guys did it. You did it. Wasn't that easy? You guys did it. Basically, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to get that Allen wrench and just start tightening that nut that's toward the back of your brand new spout. It's close to the wall. Just tighten it up, and it might be a little tough because the Allen wrench doesn't want to slide past the wall. But don't worry. Just keep working on it. Keep working on it until it's very snug. You don't want it to be jiggling around or moving around at all. Once you're trying to open and close the diverter for creating a bath or a shower, uh, so. Let's give it a test. Congratulations, you did it. Your bathtub is working, your shower is working. Now you can enjoy a hot shower, a hot bath, whatever you prefer. Isn't life beautiful? All right, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. And now I am back to regular programming on today's daily vlog. You guys, you guys know the drill, you know the drill. Question of the day, was your bathtub spout not working and that's why you watched this video? And did you fix it? Question of the day, question of the day. Happy Yeah. Hun, I am very impressed. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Woo! Twenty-four hours later, and the planter is feeling so, so, so much better. It's amazing. Ice, massage with a highlighter, and this planter fascia compression sock. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna run tomorrow. But after five days, I think I'll be good to go. See the beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks for watching me fix my bathtub. Thanks for watching me fix my bathtub. <laughs> See you tomorrow.